Hi folks, my name is Alan B Dean Beebe, uh, you're at TrueIQ.com and this is where we'll be demonstrating the various Tandoku Dosa and whatever else we choose to demonstrate. Before I begin, uh, I will tell you about the background items. Uh, these two pieces were penned for me the first time I met Shirata Sensei. This one says Masa Katsu Agatsu Aikido and it's signed Koi. Ko means light, uh, in is uh, forest, so uh, like as Ninjiro is his uh, name. Uh, Masa Katsu Agatsu is true, uh, victory is self victory, and Aikido is the familiar Aikido. On this side, we have Gen Nei Shin. Gen is a manifest, physically manifested physical. Um, Nei is a, a spirit or ghost like. And then the uh, uh, Shin is uh, also can be read Kami, it's a divinity or God. Uh, and then this reads Ai no Ki no Michi. Uh, the I is different on this one. I, this I means love. This key is different on this one. This key means joy. And then the Michi is the same. So Ai no Ki no Michi is Ai Ki Do. Uh, but it's a loving, joyous way. So I'm quoting. And this last piece that I was standing in front of. Uh, it's also written by Shirata Sensei, and it says, Aiki o Kami. You uh, are hopefully becoming familiar with Aiki. Uh, o is a great, and the Kami is a spirit or God, so the great deity or God of, of Aiki. Okay, so be before we begin, let me reiterate. I may or may not be demonstrating Aiki. In other words, you can't see Aiki. Aiki is uh, uh, yin-yang, right? And yin-yang are um, mutually dependent co-arising forces or other relationships, but in our case mostly forces. And you can't see force. What you can see is the effects of force. So um, please work on getting it out of your head that you're going to look at what I'm doing or anybody else is doing and say, oh, I'm seeing Aiki. You aren't. You can't. Okay. Um, I will be demonstrating some uh, movements that I was taught that helps in the generation of Aiki. Is it guaranteed? No. That's why you don't see uh, so many people who can actually produce the Aiki phenomenon that uh, the people who, are, who have Aiki are famous for. Uh, it's also why uh, I'm going to show you some physical things. You could call them techniques. They're not martial techniques, but we'll say it's a technique to develop Aiki, um, you can you can copy that. And when you see the first Tandoku Dosa, you're going to look and you go, oh, we've been doing that for years. Uh, you could copy that and never develop Aiki. So, and unfortunately, that's really what has gone on for a long time now is uh, People didn't find that light switch, and yet they started copying the physical movements, and then pretty soon that became what Aiki was. And then people are replicating the uh, physical movements that they see, but they cannot reproduce the uh, Aiki phenomenon that the people who established their arts were famous for. So that's what you want to look for. So that's what I'm saying. I may or may not be demonstrating Aiki. You would know that until you felt me. Okay. Okay. So with that in mind, let's begin. Tando Kudosa number one begins in Seiza. For us, 
says uh, the distance between my knees is the same distance between my knee and my ankle. I want an equilateral triangle. I'm going to take my mass and I'm going to let my mass fall in the center of this support system. Just like my foot when it's on the ground. It's not on my, I don't want to have my weight on my heel, I don't have my weight on my toes. It's in the center of each of those uh, support systems and consequently you know, part of the weight is supported in the middle as well. All right, the next thing we're going to do is I'll just show you the Tandoku Dosa and you can be underwhelmed immediately and either go on to something else or wonder what the heck is so special about this uh, simple thing and uh, um, uh, you know what's different, right? So this is Tandoku Dosa number one. I key in that. Well, first, I'm letting my bones, uh, my bones are, are rigid and they communicate the force of the ground upward. I want to let them com communicate, transmit the force of the ground upward as high as possible. And then my tissues, I'm going to let them hang and spread out as far as possible. I say hang because um, that implies uh, eccentric contraction and uh, that's way better than people who are trying to open up and they make concentric contraction and just defeats the whole purpose. So uh, I get big. Okay, sitting here. Next thing that happens is uh, my legs open. This is my lower leg on the ground. This is my upper leg. I'm going to open these apart. Because this is anchored on the ground, this is my knee. What's going to happen is this is going to open up this way. This is trying to open up into the ground. It, 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 it wants to go like this if it could, right? But it can't. So, um, so when this comes like this, it, it's rotating, creating IQ number two. So if you can imagine this was a disc and it started rotating, you'd have this IQ number two. Well, we have this limb and it's rotating, and you still have an IQ number two uh, idea going on there. So what's important is this force is going this way, this force is going that way. All right, so that's my lower leg. Now let's look at my trunk. All right, um, so say this is my uh, upper leg and now this is my trunk. And I'm facing this way, this is my hips. As I, as I, this 
raise this up like we just described. This comes open as well, all right? And um, you get an IQ2 effect in your upper body as well. So now I have IQ2 in my lower legs. I have IQ2 in my upper body. Then the arms are doing the same things. This is closed. These are my two limbs. And then they open, and you see there's a relationship here too. Close, open, close, open. There's a rotation here, and there's a rotation here. So they also have IQ2. It doesn't happen to go this way, it could. It's going this way. Okay, we even have an exercise that's here here, here, okay? So I have IQ2 here, I have IQ2 being expressed here, I have IQ2 being expressed here, I have IQ2 being expressed here. I even have IQ2 being expressed in my lower leg, although you don't see it happen because uh, um, the force, even though I can't move that much, the force is equal and opposite on either side of that leg. So it actually exists there. All right, so that's IQ number two. What about IQ number three? Well, we talked about that. If there, this is, would be a torsion, okay? Um, let's go back to moving our arms. The bones don't move themselves. It's the tissue that moves the bones. The tissue needs to move in a circular pattern. So you have to kind of throw away your idea of the insertion, um, origin insertion model uh, and think much broader than that. So this is a circular pattern with my tissue and this is a circular pattern with my tissue. So hopefully my tissues are moving along with the bone. Well. Be, the bone moves because the tissue is moving. Same thing happens here. Well, in the torsion, the same thing happens here. My tissues are actually going to torsion. Okay? Well, how do you make that happen? Not the way you will start out. You'll start out by grossly moving things. And what you'll do is you'll recruit more tissue uh, and you have to do that neurologically and you have to uh, develop the neurology to be able to recruit the tissue by asking uh, for that to happen again and again and again you get an adaptive response um, so when I'm here this tissue is going to move out this way this is opening okay so this whole thing is opening outward and then it goes the other way okay it pulls back in so these tissues are moving here okay these tissues are moving here these tissues are moving here okay and it looks like a sago. it looks like this one origin equal opening equal closing with my entire body, all right? And that produces uh, the torsion in the body and gives you IQ number three, which is a coaxial spiral. You have spiraling happening here. Uh, people, again, will focus on you're spiraling your body. Yes, you will see some spiraling of the body. What really matters is that the force is spiraling in a yin-yang fashion, equal and opposite directions. That's where the pay is. That's where the bang for the buck is. So I'm opening this way, and then I'm closing this way. So this is opening. This is closing. I'll show you again. Breathing in. Breathing up. 
This way. Breathing in. Breathing out. This way. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay. Very simple exercise, just like Ichi in Shodo is very simple, but it tells all. And you can tell somebody who's a neophyte versus a master by looking at their simple stroke, Ichi. To be a master, it, it, the, the Ichi is simple. To be a master is, is difficult. Well, the road to there is difficult. Once you're there, I can't tell you because I'm not a master. Uh, that is Tandoku Dosa number one. And uh, basically it has everything you could possibly need. Couple tips. You can use your back articulates. You can use your back along with this as well. well I'll talk to you more about that later. And uh, two, it helps if you think beyond your body. Uh, so consequently, if you had an implement that you could express your force through, it became part of you all the way to the ends of the implement, that's going to recruit more tissue. And uh, because it takes more neurological ac action from you to do in actuality. Imagination, easy. Manifestation, not so much. So uh, that's why working with an implement is useful, and, but you also have to be able to do that same thing when you don't have one, when this, this becomes your implement. All right? Uh, that's uh, what I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again real soon, I hope. And uh, until then, be safe, take care. Bye-bye.